What's healing for you? I often get into conversations with people where they feel bad because they feel like they're self-sabotaging or they're not doing the right things to help them heal. Because someone, perhaps even me, has said, oh, you should be tapping, you should be meditating, you should be journaling, you should be eating these foods, you should be, I don't know, flying to the moon, <laughs> whatever it is. You should be doing all these things. And then you will heal, and then you will be recovered. But that's rubbish. That's really, really rubbish. Yes, these things help, but, there's a big but, anything you do that is soothing, that is finding safety in your day, that is uh, regulating your nervous system, is helping. So that could be painting your nails. It could be just laying on the grass outside. It could be watching the clouds. That could be, I don't know, doing something in the garden, having a bath, um, being very present, being very conscious, being very accepting, whatever it is. The aim of the game is to find pockets of peace and safety and ease and regulation and soothing and any of these nice words in your day to be actively doing things that increases that, that increases the chances of that and yes if you have a big thing that keeps coming up then you might want to tap on it and clear it and that kind of thing but our aim throughout our day when chronically ill should be to find places where we're, we're regulating our nervous system, where we're soothing, where we feel safe, where we feel comforted, where there's ease and peace and all this stuff. <laughs> um, because whatever we do, like I said, even if that's just watching the clouds, that's doing just as much good if we're doing it consciously, um, being very present, being very appreciative, it's doing just as much good as an hour or two of some sort of therapy or treatment or tapping or whatever. So whatever it is that you're doing in your day, if you try to do it with that kind of energy, that kind of uh, presence, then that's what's healing for you. So ignore everything else and everyone else, <laughs> including sometimes me, and do what feels right for you and do what feels healing for you. And don't give yourself a hard time because you're not ticking some box of, yes, I did half an hour tapping today yes I did half an hour meditation I did half an hour visualization I did this I did that I did the other and all of it is done usually in a little bit of an angst an anxious way a little bit of a I need to please or I need to perfect or I need to do um I need to push and it's often not done in the the right energy um, so whatever you're doing, do it in a healing place, from a healing place. And do it because it's good for you, it feels good. It feels good for you, not because you think you should do it to help you heal. So listen to yourself and listen to what you need and do what that is, even if that's doing a jigsaw puzzle or painting a butterfly or whatever it is. That is your healing that is how you heal um and the next person it might be something completely different but do what feels right for you <laughs> ciao for now